The RIM-174 Standard Extended Range Active Missile ERAM, or Standard Missile 6 SM6, is a missile deployed by the United States Navy. It is actually one of the most versatile weapons in the world, having multi-role capability. SM6 can be used for air defense against aircraft, cruise missiles, or can be used to intercept incoming ballistic missiles in the terminal phase. It can even be used as an anti-ship missile as well as can be used to target land assets. As per Pentagon's proposed budget of 2020, a new variant of the missile, named as the SM6 Block 1B, will be developed. This missile could be in production by 2024. This could be one of the most important developments for the U.S. Navy. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how a new variant of America's versatile SM6 missile could be a game-changer for the U.S. Navy. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It is a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. The SM-6 missile is manufactured by Raytheon and is produced since 2009. It was developed by leveraging components from existing weapons. It uses the airframe of SM-2ER Block 4 RIM-156A missile and an enlarged version of active radar homing seeker from AIM-120C AMRAAM. The missile may be employed in a number of modes that includes inertial guidance to target with terminal acquisition using active radar seeker, semi-active homing throughout the flight or an over-the-horizon hit with cooperative engagement capability. Cooperative engagement capability enables the missile to get target data from other platforms like a fighter jet or satellites. SM-6 has a range of 150 miles or 240 kilometers and a max speed of Mach 3.5. It carries a 140-pound or 64-kilogram blast fragmentation warhead. The SM-6 was designed so that it can be deployed in the U.S. Navy's main surface combatants, the Ticonderoga-class cruiser and the Arleigh Burke destroyers. U.S. Navy has around 22 Ticonderoga-class cruisers and 66 Arleigh Burke destroyers in active service. Both of these have Mark 41 vertical launch system that can accommodate SM-6 missile apart from other missiles like Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles. Ticonderoga-class cruiser has two blocks of 61 Mark 41 cell for a total capacity of 122 cells. Arleigh Burke destroyer has one block each of 32 and 64 Mark 41 cell for a total of 96 cells. Because the SM-6 uses the legacy airframe of SM-2ER Block 4 missile, it doesn't take full advantage of the Mark 41 cell's diameter. It has a diameter of 13.5 inches, whereas the Mark 41 can accommodate missiles up to a diameter of 21 inches. The new variant, SM-6 Block 1B, will have 21-inch diameter like the SM-3 Block 2A. This will substantially increase range, speed and destructive capability as it will be able to accommodate more fuel, have a larger booster and carry a bigger warhead. U.S. Navy currently don't have a supersonic anti-ship missile other than SM-6. SM-6 with its 140-pound or 64-kilogram warhead in most cases won't be able to cripple a decent-sized enemy warship. This is a major issue and has been discussed extensively in another video. Viewers can check that video from the above card. The SM-6 Block 1B will have a much larger warhead, 
it will be a far more capable missile and anti-ship role. The important point to note is that the SM-6 and its variant follow a ballistic trajectory unlike anti-ship cruise missiles like Harpoon, Naval Strike Missiles NSMs, and long-range anti-ship missiles LRASM, making it very hard to defend against. If an American warship fires a mix of SM-6 Block 1B and anti-ship cruise missiles, the enemy warship will have to undertake a ballistic missile defense and anti-air mission simultaneously. Currently, there is no Russian or Chinese warship that can do this. Even America's Aegis-enabled Ticonderoga-class cruiser and the Arleigh Burke destroyer, which are considered most sophisticated in this regard, can perform only one of these at a time. Hence, it can be said that the U.S. Navy will have a much-needed anti-surface warfare capability boost with SM-6 Block 1B missile. SM-6 Block 1B will be a major force multiplier for the U.S. Navy. It will not only make the current platforms like Ticonderoga-class cruisers and Arleigh Burke destroyers more potent, but also have an impact on future platforms. In coming days, all Zumwalt-class destroyers will be in active service and will be able to deploy this missile. Much smaller surface combatants like the upcoming multi-mission guided missile frigates FFGX, could also have this missile. Even the U.S. Navy's new drone ship initiative may be equipped with Mark 41 vertical launch systems and hence be capable of carrying this missile. Though FFGX and drone ship may not have a long-range radar, they will be able to use SM-6 Block 1B since it can be guided to target by other military assets, which are present in the region as well as satellites. This is what will make the SM-6 Block 1B a very flexible weapon. In future, an air-launched version could be deployed that can be carried by fighters like F-A-18s and bombers like B-52, B-2 Spirit, and upcoming B-21 Raider. This kind of concept is being used by India and Russia for BrahMos missile. A variant named BrahMos A, meaning air-launched, which is smaller and lighter than the original one, is being integrated to Sukhoi Su-30 MKI so that it can be launched as a standoff weapon. Further down the road, a submarine-launched variant of SM-6 Block 1B could also be developed. Keeping all those aspects in perspective, it can be said that the SM-6 Block 1B missile will be a game-changer for U.S. Navy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.